Well, hello. It has been 42 months. That gives us about three and a half years. I think my install date was October, end of October of 2020. It's been that long since I joined the beautiful Sister Lock community. And I haven't done an update in quite a while. So I just shampooed my hair. So I was like, why not give YouTube an update? Although not much is going on. <laughs> But let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Alexia Nicole, and I'm still living my life by design. So, like I said, I just shampooed my locks. Um, I guess I can show y'all what shampoo I'm currently using. This is a newer shampoo. I think I've used it about three times, but I'm actually liking it. So, it is the TPH... Taraji P. Henson. This is the Honey Fresh Clarifying Shampoo. Um, I really just need like one lather and it's good. Gives me a nice tingly feel, which we all, well, I think most of us kind of like that on our scalp. Um, and it leaves my hair feeling really clean. I do put edge control in front of my hair, so I like to kind of get that out pretty often. Um, and just after one, one cleanse, it feels back to normal <clears throat> and then I also condition my hair I know some people you know say do and don't condition blah 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 but I do condition um just based off of my hair texture I think I have what was it 4c hair so you know the, the kinky so I don't really have a lot of slippage never really have no real bunching none of those things so I'm good with conditioning the first time I colored my hair, this is what my loctician gave me. Um, I don't really know how to say this, y'all. Joyco um, Anti-Fade Color Conditioner. <clears throat> um, although my color is very faded. It started off like a burgundy red. It was, well, anyways, it was just darker. I'll see if I can put it in the picture. Um... And y'all know just over time, you shampoo, you shampoo, you shampoo, your con your color fades. So now we are at like a copper brown. And as y'all can see, my ends are a lot more brown back here than my roots. But that's just the process of color. So that's where we're at with shampoo and conditioner. I love the way the conditioner leaves my hair feeling nice and soft. Um, yes, I have a lot of ends that kind of come out after I condition, as y'all can see that little right there, but that's fine. Like, this is dead hair. I gotta go. <clears throat> and let's do a little length check. Can we see that? Yes. So, yeah, y'all, this is where we are. I did have, like, a lock. No, it's not this one. There's a lock around here that broke off and so it is oh is that it? Is it I don't know anyways there's one like right here at the top of my head that kind of broke off and I don't know when or how it actually broke yeah it's it this one or do I have a few of them I don't know child but <laughs> uh Cam my lactation one time was like what did you do to your hair you just got like a broken leg and I was like I don't know it could just been maybe from the color it thinned out because I do have some that have kind of thinned out a little bit but very very few because I did go through a coloring phase and I was like okay at least it calmed down oh I've calmed down uh, earlier this year I think like around January or February I had my mom who is a licensed cosmetologist well her license might not be renewed no more but for majority of my life <laughs> my mother has been a licensed cosmetologist so in the front my locks were just growing really really unevenly like some up here were like all the way down it was just uneven so i had her trim okay here's another one that broke off i don't i don't really know y'all what i don't know but <laughs> i call this my little alfalfa because one point it was with the rest of them one day i looked and it was gone my mother did not do this like that did that on its own but anyways a few months ago I just had my mama kind of do a little 
trim to get the eve the front just for it to look a little more even um clearly it's grown out a bit since then but it still looks much better than when it was just all one long one you know just stupid looking this is it for the update i'm about to do just a braid out um so i have when i first initially got my install probably for the first Two years, I was going consistently every five to six weeks. Six weeks would really be pushing it. So at five, six week mark, I was back in my loctician's chair getting a retie. Um, one, that adds up very quickly. And I, I have never retied my entire head. I do my perimeter. I really just do like the first two rows every now and then. But... I'm not, I'm not one of y'all praises to all y'all queens out there that can retire your whole head because I'm not doing it. So it started getting really expensive and I had accidentally went two months at one point in time just with my schedule. I couldn't get in. Um, and at that two month mark, I looked and I was like, well, like at least it's really not that bad. Like your, your new growth wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Like I didn't die. So I said, okay, Kim, I think I'm going to start coming every eight weeks. So I've pretty much been coming every eight weeks, probably since like the end of last year, like November, December. Um, so I'm on a two month schedule and I think my next appointment is May 5th. So that means I went April, March 5th. So, and today is April 15th. So as y'all can see, this is how much new growth I have since then. I haven't done any reties or any nothing so yeah my hair is it maintains on its own pretty well so usually like the first month after I get the retie I just kind of wear it straight because it still looks really good and the roots are you know controlled and all that stuff you know, just trying to give you a little good a good visual there I personally like when my hair is freshly retied Everybody is a little different, but I like it lays flatter. It just, I like that look for myself. You girls with the nice curly coils and it's all big and poofy and pretty. I love that look on y'all, but my hair doesn't do that. So when it's not laying flat, it just looks, it looks weird to me. <laughs> so after I get tired of wearing the straight hair, it's not looking how I want it to look, whether that's for like a month or three weeks or whatever, I usually do like these um, pipe cleaner curls which I love the way that these look and they last long like if I really really want to stretch it out with the pipe cleaner curls I can get like three three solid maybe even a month if I'm keeping my hands out my head out of the pipe the pipe cleaner curls and then sometimes if I don't do those I'll do these the flexi rods and these I can probably get like a good two weeks out of those. I just had, I just curled my hair, you know, like two weeks ago and I just shampooed those little curls out. Now I'm just gonna do a braid out and then, y'all know, it depends on how good you do the braid out, how tight the braids are, how, you know, y'all know. So when I do my braid outs, I use Lot of Body Foam Mousse. Uh, actually, I don't always use Lot of Body. I just use whatever is whatever I got at the time. Um, the other one that I use sometimes is, I think, the olive oil one. I think so. Um, sometimes I do really small braids to get a really good tight crinkle if I'm not going to be able to leave them in for long. Um, tonight, I'm not feeling that. So they are going to be like bigger chunks, probably like this big or so. Um, I don't really have anything to do tomorrow where I need to be presentable. Um, so I'll be able to leave in the braid out all day tomorrow as well. Then I'll take them out the next day so I can get myself ready for work. Um, so yeah, y'all, let's braid this hair down and then I'll come back when I take them out and show y'all. <laughs>
looking like this. We gotta fix it. <laughs> I didn't end up going to work. So my hair has been in these plaits for like three or four days, two more days than intended. And I need to get myself together, okay? So let's take them down. A little oil on the fingertips. Well, i squeezed a lot. And we're just gonna unplant like so. Y'all, you almost got it together just to add the lippy. This is my favorite brown liner. It don't usually do that, but I just sharpened it and it's pretty much down to the stud. <laughs> Anyways, this is Makeup Forever's Limitless Brown. I know no other brown liner that I love like this one. And I'm really, I'm not even going anywhere today y'all i just really got tired of looking bummy um merit beauty sent me these lipsticks this is the classic signature lip so i'm gonna go for a little nude lip today i'm just gonna go to the nail salon get a pedicure and then i'm gonna go to stretch zone and get stretched. What do y'all think about that lip? Cute, right? Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. They sent it to me in red also. I've been wearing it to work. Y'all know I'm a flight attendant. Um, so this is a good flight attendant red. And it's smooth and it's creamy and it just gives like that perfect mocha chocolate brown girl nude with that lip liner around and okay we did a little soft lay of the edges nothing serious add a little earring a little gloss to the lips and we are ready to conquer the world <laughs> this is the back y'all try to get these parts separated but this is it this is what we're looking like quick little braid out or process is quick but clearly i left it in for some days as i said hope y'all enjoyed the video i probably won't be back with another hair video for a while y'all know but this was fun to do um if you like this content if you want to see more of me subscribe bye